Welcome to our fourth Wiser Hero video. As we continue our adventure to help you find the right wisdom that fits your life and your money. Today we will be comparing and reviewing the wisdom of Jeff Bezos and Eckhart Tolle. Who are they? What is their wisdom? Why do they do it? Which one is right for you? To see where Jeff and Eckhart are coming from, let's take a look at their generational personality. Jeff was born in 1964 while Eckhart was born in 1948. This puts both of them into the baby boom generation. The baby boom generation is categorized as a profit generation. The profit generation is one of four generational categories. The profit personality is an idealist born during a time of new economic boom. For this video, we will keep in mind that Eckhart was not born in America, so his generational personality may well be closer to that of an artist. Also, Jeff was born at the end of the profit generation, so he may be more of a nomad personality. As you can see, in the current generations, Jeff and Eckert were both born as prophets. It was a time of post-crisis economic boom. The prophet generation grew up as self-absorbed crusaders, who began to focus on principles and morals during midlife. As elders, the prophet generation became leaders and guides to those growing up in the following crisis season which began between 2005 and 2008. Personalities are partly shaped by the societal season in which their generation was born. Jeff and Eckhart were shaped by a generationally societal season of spring. Yet the societal season of their birth months of January and February shaped them in the artist part of the year. For people like Jeff and Eckhart, their first impressional programming as infants were shaped by the spring weather the spring holidays, and how their mothers were feeling during the springtime of the year. Here we see that Jeff and Eckhart are both prophet spring artists. Why is this important? It is important because the more we know about ourselves, the more we can figure out the best things that we could be doing with our lives. If you would like us to figure out your generational personality for you, please leave a birth year and birth month in the comment section and we will reply with the answer. Let's take a look at why Jeff does what Jeff does. At a young age, Jeff's ambition included getting all people off Earth so Earth could be a huge park. With his company called Amazon.com, Jeff's mission is to have one place where people can find and buy anything they want. As a guide through the current 20-year generational crisis season, Jeff believes that interconnecting work and life will bring harmony to the masses. And he is still doing his part to get people off the Earth as his Blue Origin company competes with SpaceX. Let's take a look at why Eckert does what Eckert does. Eckert was depressed until age 29. He was born in Germany after the devastation of World War II. Eckert studied German mystic books instead of attending high school. One night he had a life transformation that led to a deep state of bliss that lasted for two years. Eckert wants people to know that the past and the future don't exist. Although wisdom is pure unspoken thought, we could hope to get a glimpse of Jeff's wisdom by hearing some of the things he has said. Like, stress comes from ignoring things that you shouldn't be ignoring. And, don't forget to think ahead. And, don't choose your passion, let your passion choose you. Some people say that Jeff is the world's worst boss, yet the evidence from his success is that almost everyone else wants to copy his ways. In comparison, here are some things that Eckert has said. Don't wait to be successful at some future point. Have a successful relationship with the present moment and be fully present in whatever you are doing. That is success. And you create a good future by creating a good present. Although we have heard before that in order to predict the future, we should create the future, it is still a good quote no matter how you say it. While most grapple with the idea that the past and future don't exist, one must be careful to avoid contradictions without explanations. For instance, Eckert believes that judging is a form of violence, while at the same time he makes a judgment that evil and dysfunction exist. This might indicate that Eckert is a violent person by making himself the judge of what is evil or what type of function is wrong or evil. Either way, the past and the future do exist at the same time that they do not exist. Both are valid and in harmony with each other. So be careful out there when reading those books from Amazon, it might be clear to you by now that Jeff is attempting to cure sadness through providing easier access to the things we want, like searching through Amazon forest-sized libraries or earth-sized natural parks. 
At the same time, Eckert is attempting to cure sadness through helping people become self-aware that their successful search for happiness might be in not searching at all. Whether searching outer space or searching inner space, Jeff and Eckert are two heroes of our time. They are the definition of being here and of making observations and using those observations to protect us from whatever it is that is against us. If you want to become wiser faster, join us here on this channel every week for Wiser Hero Wednesdays. If you like this video, please don't forget to smash the like button and share the video link with your friends. To be notified about next week's video, tap the subscribe button. Finally, if you have a favorite teacher or mentor that you would like us to review and compare, please leave us a message in the comments section below. Thank you for watching and have a wiser day.